Hello everyone, my name is Ali Babikir. I'm clinical teaching fellow vascular surgery at Royal Free Hospital and today I'm going to show you how I landed clinical attachment. This video will be for those who are in UK or those who have their visa accepted. Immediately after I reached here, I called one of the hospitals that's close to my house. Hello, my name is Ali. I'm really keen to start clinical attachment. I'm preparing for MRCS Part B. They send me an email and then I send my documentation to them. They did the reply for a long time and I didn't know about that. One of my friends told me, you have to reach for a consultant. So that's exactly what I did. I called everyone I know to find a consultant who will adopt me in a way. And I found one consultant I spoke with him, I sent my CV, and then he told me, send the same email that you sent me to the, to the honorary team for the HR. And that's what I did. I sent them another email, and I kept chasing them, but there was no reply. I was left in the dark. What I did, I went in person to the HR, and I spoke with them, and I told them I already sent an email earlier, three, four months ago. Please, can you look into my case? And that's what they did. And from that moment, things started to move forward. So if I want to just summarize the situation, when your visa is accepted or you are here, contact one of the hospital. Find a consultant in the specialty that you are interested in. Send an email to the hospital early before you taking your MRCS Part B or your PLAP2. Go and visit the hospital physically. I cannot emphasize this point enough. I think if I didn't go in person to the hospital, I would never land a placement. And after that, it was pretty easy. And that's the beauty about clinical observeship or attachment it will make your job easier in landing a job in NHS. And lastly, good luck.